At the moment, vitamin E deficiency seems to be common and is linked to many causes of diseases such as, you know, metabolic problems and diabetes, right? Now, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that actually helps your body do a lot of important things like keep your bones, teeth, and joints healthy and keep your immune system work. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Vitamin D is really essential for good health, but many people don't get enough of it. This is especially true for overweight individuals and those who are insulin resistant. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to inflammation and cell damage, which in turn makes it more difficult for the body to regulate your blood sugar levels and your fat stores. Now, as a result, obese and insulin resistant people are more likely to suffer from vitamin D deficiency. Additionally, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, further complicating that relationship between the obesity and insulin resistance and vitamin D levels is just chicken and egg story, okay? Now, while getting more vitamin D is important for everyone, but it's especially crucial for those who are struggling with their weight and their blood sugar levels. Now, vitamin D has long been known as sunshine vitamin. You can only get it in Florida. I'm just kidding, no. Now, you can get a lot in Florida, but you get hurricanes too, so you have to be careful. Because our bodies produce that in response to the sunlight, right? In recent years, however, researchers have discovered that vitamin D has a number of other health benefits. It helps to build the strong bones, which you need when you're older, and prevents certain types of thyroid cancer, again, something you need, because it boosts your immune system. Now, it appears that vitamin D can also help to prevent insulin resistance and diabetes. A new study, for example, has found that vitamin D deficiency is one of the factors that can accelerate the formation of insulin resistance. Now, vitamin D helps to prevent epigenetic alterations associated with insulin resistance and diabetes. So, we can say that vitamin D deficiency is one of the factors that can accelerate the formation of insulin resistance. Now, recently, vitamin D receptor or VDR, you can call it, and vitamin D metabolizing enzymes were found in different types of cells, such as, you guessed it right, pancreatic cells and insulin responsive cells like adipocytes, which are fancy name for fat cells. Now, a lot of vitamin D is stored in adipose tissue, and it is also a major source of adipokines and cytokines, which are super important parts of systemic inflammation. And there is evidence that vitamin D seems to control a number of events that happen in order to let the pancreatic cells make insulin and control your blood sugar levels. Now, vitamin D is the name for its two forms. Some vitamin D comes in D2 form or ergo calciferol, the other name, or vitamin D3, which is cholecalciferol. Now, people get vitamin D from being in the sun, eating certain foods, taking dietary supplements, and the king of dietary supplements, as you know, is sugar MD neuropathy support, for example, and sugar MD diavitamin has a lot of vitamin D in there for a reason. Now, insulin resistance leads to diabetes, as you know, and insulin resistance also causes beta cells that make the insulin to die off, and then that leads to high blood sugar, of course. And then we know that now preclinical studies showing that the vitamin D may be able to control how much insulin is made in your pancreas and how long your pancreatic cells live. Several studies have shown that a lack of vitamin D, or vitamin D deficiency, makes it harder for pancreatic cells to release insulin in response to glucose. It also appears that taking vitamin D may make it possible to restore the ways glucose makes insulin to be released when needed. Now, some clinical studies found that taking vitamin D supplements can actually lead to, again, much better insulin secretion in the early phase. Vitamin D is important not only for the function of the cells in the pancreas, but also for insulin-sensitive tissues like fat tissue or liver tissue or skeletal muscle tissue. Again, vitamin D makes the body more sensitive to insulin. Having said that, 
If you are a typical overweight, obese, middle-aged man or woman, taking a vitamin D pill probably won't make a huge difference the next day. So some people misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not talking about miracles here. I'm talking about what different things affect your body, your diabetes, your insulin resistance. So if you don't have a healthy diet and exercise, if your diet is not naturally high in vitamin D, if you don't have a healthy lifestyle, just taking a vitamin D is not going to reverse your diabetes. Don't get me wrong, okay? For example, if you take vitamin D every day, compared to people who does not take the vitamin D, you will be a step ahead, okay? Now, a study, for example, showed, and that's a prestigious New England Journal of Medicine, published the results, and that showed that people who took vitamin D supplements, of course, you know, increased their levels, and by doing that, they were 12% less likely to get diabetes. Of course, they did that before they got diabetes, right? But this was slightly different from the other group that didn't take supplements in a short time. Not a huge result, but I think in the long term, you may definitely get benefit from it. If you see 12% within a few years, you may see more results in general. Again, because vitamin D is also good for reducing the inflammation. And since it's linked to metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance, which is the reason for a lot of inflammation, vitamin D will directly and indirectly will help you reduce the uh, inflammation in your body. Another thing is how your body handles the calcium and phosphorus is important. They actually, the calcium and phosphorus affects your insulin receptor genes uh, to work better. So for example, in a study, almost 6,000 people had trouble handling glucose, like insulin resistance or prediabetes. Vitamin D increased their insulin sensitivity by 54%. Another study of 126 people, a smaller study, there was a direct link between the insulin sensitivity and vitamin D, even in a small study, which actually shows that, you know, more proof that vitamin D can actually make your pancreatic cells not only work better, but also the tissues to be more sensitive to insulin, okay? Because it seems that vitamin D raises the amount of calcium in cells, which actually every cell needs calcium to work. And it also activates certain receptors like PPAR receptors in the nucleus for that is induced by vitamin D, which is an important insulin sensitivity that is controlled by vitamin D. Now, if some of you are on octose or pioglutazone, that medication kind of works the same way. And some of the herbs in our advanced glucose support, for example, and superurbrine does something similar in terms of inducing the insulin resistance and triggering the PPAR receptor. Again, it reduces a lot of cytokines uh, like interleukin-6 and other harmful uh, cytokines. So what is the verdict here? Let's don't get into too much nitty gritty, right? Vitamin E is a hormone. It's not just a vitamin. It functions in pretty much everything in the body. Beta cells get their share from that. Calcium and bone metabolism is super linked to insulin resistance. And since vitamin D is important for calcium and phosphorus regulation, it indirectly affects your overall inflammation, insulin resistance, and your fat cells. If you're overweight, you will have more fat stores that will diminish the effect of vitamin D because, you know, basically the fat stores suck up all the vitamin D and don't let the vitamin D to be used. Uh, but if you fix your weight, for example, then you will have more vitamin D freely available for your body. And if you cannot lose weight, you just have to take more vitamin D in because it's fat soluble and it's distributed in your fat cells. They will get trapped in your fat cells if you are overweight. So liberate your body by losing more weight, exercising, fasting, everything we talked about in this channel. So make sure you keep practicing what we have been telling you for a long time. Now, having said that, Remember, if you have any questions about anything, about insulin resistance, diabetes, weight loss, your keyword is sugar MD. So make sure you always search something along with sugar MD. Because a lot of people don't realize that we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, and they never saw or they never listened or watched any of our videos that are pertinent to what they're looking for and asking questions on YouTube that I see the questions. I'm like, well, all you have to do is just type the question, put the sugar MD next to it, bam, you have a video to watch. So remember that, and remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.